Alright, it's back and working now, so uh, we're gonna finish this war up and then go to bed. Um, I should probably take my own advice here though, in regards to there's always another war. I won't be as powerful as this one. This is probably my worst war I've ever actually had against the Ottomans now I'm thinking about it. Normally I come out very, very well against them. Like I normally get all of my cores back, plus Albania, plus Bulgaria. It's just kind of a bit odd for me to be in this situation. Alright, so we're gonna try to bait the Turks into, uh, you know, coming over to their capital. Wink, wink. Okay, so the Ottomans, I uh, would really like war reps from you. And I want... Ah, I wanted all that. Now you're not quite so willing to give that to me for whatever reason. Why is that? Hmm. That said, if I were to take that off, put this in there, you're more willing to do it? You're definitely willing to do that. But I really want those war wraps. Yeah, I don't know why exactly they're not willing to take that piece off her like they were before. Sweet. So, that's pretty beneficial for me. Now, hopefully I can get them off of, uh... Okay, so, I could do that. I can get all of my cores back, or... No, you're not willing to do that. So, this is War Wraps, all of my cores back. And this is about the extent, yeah, that's the max you're willing to give me. War reps plus all of my cores back. And I should honestly take it. There's always another war to be had against the Turks. Decisions. Okay, there's one last thing we're gonna do. It's gonna be super pretty. But it's gonna be okay. So, we're letting a month pass by, because if I do that, then I can get just, I can inch myself just a little bit more out of this, and, um, hmm. here's the other thing we're going to do real quick. Okay, so we can do this, and this gives me considerably more score. In fact, I can almost do that. It's so tantalizing. But 56 ducats extra, plus my cores. Or. Ooh. You have no idea how badly I want to just take one of these provinces. So it would have to be. No, he would not. Okay, so he wouldn't be willing to give me that. He'd be willing to give me Vidian. But that's about it. Okay. I should take this while I've got the opportunity, while I've got the chance. So yeah, I'm going to take this. Send demand. Alright. Uh, bankruptcy is not looming. Because, well, guess who has a lot of money now? Boys. Okay. Anyways, time to get rid of all these mercs. And, uh, yeah, you, goodbye. And that's gonna be because my interest in fort maintenance. Yuck. Okay, that's something I'm not too really debating about. I like being able to, I like having the option of pulling them off there. This is something I'm not quite so fond of. Same token. 
I really, really want to just keep that though. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this, unfortunately. It would be nice, but it's okay. And, uh, yeah. Good news is that the uh, Ottomans are, uh, yeah, the good news is that the Ottomans have not covered any of my cores. This gives me a way to go after Serbia and Bosnia. And the Serbs did go after uh, Ragusa while the Turks were busy. So all in all, a good thing for me. And uh, my truce to the Turks is up. In 11 years, that's not too bad. Theodora, Theodora would be nice. Carcassia would be even nicer. Ottomans, you are my sworn enemy for forever. And Serbia would be a great enemy to have. Alright, Ottomans. Unfortunately, this is not something... If I really wanted to cripple the Turks, I would have taken this and this because then that would have really just like gutted the trade income but uh, I cared a little bit more about my map aesthetics and yeah I'm not paying for that right now awesome Turks driven from the Western Balkans I can get behind that theme system will be nice. This more correctly theme system gives me quite a quite a nice idea or quite a nice uh, basically everything. Have a theologian missionary strength. Advancement of religion act is the thing I will do even even that would give me a minus one in the rest. I prefer to have missionary strength. And I'm going to wait for a month tick by. Uh, I'm not fighting anything. Yeah, take the dimple power. So, and what do you know? That deals with my aristocratic coup. Um, yeah, I'll place relative on the throne. Your liberty desire is kind of going to go up there, but whatever. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, I've only able scuttage for Athens. It's okay though. The reason why I like to do the dynasty thing isn't for any particular like good reason. It's just I like it. And now Austria would be probably willing to go into my next war against the Ottomans, which would be nice. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that temple. Next war will be a holy war. Glorious, glorious holy war. And, yeah. Get that Diplo attack. Pay off two loans, get a little bit more money. Always nice. And, yeah, we're doing nice. Plus, that extra money we're getting from the Turks is always, always nice. Uh, if I had a little bit better of an army, they would definitely see my way just a bit more. But I, I'm about to go to bed, I just really want to, um, get this taken care of. Because yeah, if I get an Inquisitor plus the Religion Act puts me about 2% a month, which would put me at... Well, let's think about that. 2% a month. Oh, hey. I completely forgot I even had that there. 
two percent a month uh, would take me fifty months, about uh, a little, almost a little over four years. It's not good. Okay. And this is nothing but increased tax revenue for me. Because, uh, what do you know? Clergy are in charge. And yeah. It's just a nice, nice little bonus for me. And my force limits, all in all, got a pretty nice boost. My navy. Uh, I only do quite, can only do so much. Bleh. Let's um, just get a few men on the go, so that uh, Athens' liberty desire goes down as much as I don't particularly like to have him do that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get more claims in the go. Not really because I need it so much as it is. I mean, it's just a nice little benefit. Bolu. That's for sure what I'm going to be taking. Ghost of my rivals. Uh, Genoa's not happening for a little bit. Serbia, I'm fabricating a claim on. Mamluks, let's keep you sweet. Yeah, I'd like to integrate Athens, but I'm going to use them to eat some land for me. Wrong religion, wrong culture, probably not the greatest idea I've had with them. But could be worse. Oh yeah, that's right, I was going to support a... Uh, oh yeah, that's right, that's what I was going to do. Support an heir on Poland's throne. Support air. And that's just really so I, uh. Oh wow, I've got a great chance at getting more. But yeah, no, I just really want to get um, a chance at that very rare event. Okay, so Poland, or Athens is. Getting there, I'm going to do just a little bit more. Probably against my better judgment, but yeah. Oh wow, Austria passed a reform. Nice. Good job, Monstria. And yeah. That autonomy is going to go away. And the war exhaustion is going to go away. Okay, so my the Diet being held with the nobility is gone, which is fine. Military support? Yes, please. And, uh, what do you know? I'll take another Diet. Ask for contribution? Don't mind if I do. You guys are not too far away from that. And yeah, that puts me even closer to Miltex 6, which will give me a nice little bonus to when I go to war against the Turks again. But that'll be 11 years from now, and hmm, we'll see how that holds up. So... Yeah, let's get another cavalry, just because I'm going to want to, um, or the reason why, reason why I want to get that other cavalry is just because that way, whenever I inevitably do use more mercs, I'll be uh, in a quite a good position for that. Uh, I know Venice will not get military access, however, Hungary probably will. And if I give myself military access through Hungary, 
I can time it to drop me off like a day before and game it just a little bit. Okay, and yeah, I'm going to bed as soon as I, uh, I'll be going to bed as soon as I get that Liberty Desire of Athens all done away. Really? Come on. Ah, that's been annoying. Oh well. I don't even know who my uh, rivals are that would even support independence of Athens, but. Well, outside the Ottomans, but they've got a truce to me, so they can't. Okay, so. Slowly but surely, this is going down. Yeah, same ruling dynasty, that minus 5% is nice. I feel like, I, for some reason, th thought there was some. Um, I know it's not true, but for some reason I was thinking there was a, uh, I thought I'd speed up their hand, I, for some reason I was thinking also speed up their annexation cost, but I know that's completely bonkers and not true. Uh, I thought I had a theologian. Probably did at some point. Yeah, well. Yeah. I, uh, once, whenever I get Turkish accepted, this will make converting this stuff quite easy. Prestige is definitely an issue, but eh. How many more cores do I even have out there? Just one in Athens? Eh. Not the end of the world. Okay. I still don't really have a whole lot of sway anywhere. So we'll uh, continue to just keep our merchants where they're at. Tyrannical nobles, uh, uh, at 30, which is not good. Moria loses a base tax. It's not good. I don't want that. But I can't really afford the other end. I hate that event. Okay. Athens is getting there. Slowly but surely they're getting there. It'll be nice once I get the um, Tech 5 can go into religious and uh, hope for the best. So Serbia's attack four. I probably want to gear up for an invasion there. I do have the manpower to burn through right now. So we'll go ahead and just drain myself down to about six thousand. Uh, military, how are you doing, sir? Yeah. Bosnia brings 8,000 to the table. Serbia... You bring... 10,000. Oh wow, that's... Okay. I may not be able to do that then. Unless I got, like, Hungary on my side. But in order to get uh, Hungary on my side, I'd have to drop my rivalry with Genoa, which I don't think I can do just yet. Uh, drop with Poland. And even then, it's a long stretch. Oh, that's okay. Monstria. Actually, would Monstria be willing to join me on this? We'll see here in a minute. If Monstria joins me, then that makes this a lot easier. So we'll wait for uh, this little bit to finish off. And Athens 
should be uh, much more under heal here shortly. Yeah, they're exactly at 50. Yep, there we go. Athens is, uh... Oh, God. Uh, we'll lose 100 diplo power. Okay, so if I were to say, yo, Serbia, let's go to war. Yeah, you're not willing to just yet. What do you favorite? Plus, it's not, like, it's not like I'd exactly want to burn those favors just there. Okay, Poland owes us nine favors. Mamluks owe us five. That's nice. Exactly. Anyways, have a good night, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, as I said at the beginning of the stream, normal spiel. If you like the stream, please hit that follow button. If you watch this for YouTube and enjoy the YouTube clips, if you enjoy the YouTube videos, um, just my stream footage uploaded, plus a little bit extra, I think, um, then please hit that like and subscribe. And if you, uh, I always appreciate feedback, if you have suggestions for a new campaign or anything along those lines, please message me at GillyBear on Twitch, HeroGalad, G-I-L-A-D on YouTube, Glod1 on Reddit, or Frogbait on Paradox Plaza forums. So, anyways, have a good night, my friends, and, uh, We'll be back with more Blurble to uh, learn the new patch details. Probably uh, we'll be doing one of these, honestly, every patch, because that's how I've always really kind of learned the patches. So uh, have a nice night, my friends, and catch you later.